Hello, my name is Sadbury and I'm on the amazing Craft Your Town server. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up your own brewery and then at the end I'm going to make a couple of brews to show you exactly how they're made and each step by step. So let's start. First of all you are going to need your own little station that you can ferment or cook your brew ingredients. Now, part of this is you need to have a heat source underneath your cauldron. You can use either campfires, but I do find they let the smoke come through, and I don't quite like that look. So my personal favourite is netherrack, and then you just light it, and it stays lit, which is amazing, and if for any reason it goes out, you can just go through the hole, relight it. Simple. Perfect. Um, then you put the cauldron and simply you just put water in and that is your fermenting area done. Um, for distilling you need to have an area like this and it's simply just a normal brewing stand. When you click on it you've got your glowstone dust, uh, that's the only one you need and that's that area done pretty much perfectly. A um, bit more complicated, we also then have what these are called the barrels. They're a little bit tricky to make. Um, these are the simpler ones. Uh, they have just one line, so the path, if you're just making a small amount, I'll show you how to make one. You need eight oak stairs for these. Um, first line, you just want to have two upside down. Go the other side, but two this side. Two more up here and two more down here and then it's very important it has to be in this bottom corner here you just want to place a sign and in it you just want to write barrel once you have done that it should come up in your chat my chat stand up it will come up in the chat saying that you have made a barrel and voila there it is and um, then we have got these ones, let me grab We have got the bigger barrels, now these ones have three rows So if you're making a fair amount of rows, these are perfect uh, Quite simply you want to start with They are four long, so we go one, two, three, four, that is the middle of the barrel So you want to do four below this for this side, for this side, and four on the top. And then we come down here. You want to then put the stairs underneath that bit. And when it's done, it should look something like that. Do the exact same on this side, have them upside down come to the top again place for that side and for this side then lastly you have to put down dark oak fences in the corners like that so by squat it should look something like that and you put one at the front the bottom in the middle it has to be there now the oak sign for this barrel ha can go anywhere on here unlike these where they have to go in that bottom corner I prefer to put them in the middle so just place that there again right barrel done it will come up saying you've created a barrel in chat voila you have a barrel that is the basic step for your set up. Um, when it comes to making them, let me put these two out here because now I've got my two fires. One there and one there. Now one of the important things when it comes to making your own brews, you will need a clock. This is the most important part when it comes to cooking because you need to know how long it has been in a cauldron for. So let me bring down my ingredients. 
first thing we're going to do is make wheat beer. Now for this one, you have to cook it for eight minutes. We do not need to use the distillery. However, we do have to age it in a birch barrel for two years. Now don't panic, that doesn't actually mean two real years. It just means two Minecraft days, um, which isn't the issue. And we just need to have three weeks to go in them. My personal preference is to have them all laid out in chat so I can easily know how much has gone into each barrel. So we go one, two, three, and you will notice if you hit your clock and click on the barrel. Now this isn't going to work. Let me just bring up my chat for you guys. Um, and when I tap on this, see there, it's been just started boiling for you. Whereas this one, when I click on it, there's nothing. So add three into that one, three into that one. And you see, they have all started boiling. Uh, you will need to get yourself some bottles. Because once you have finished boiling them, they need to be put into bottles. Now, while those are cooking, they take eight minutes. Over here, I will show you how to make you the distillery. So we're going to make absinthe, which is somewhere along here. Where are you? There you are. So this one you've got to cook in for three minutes. You do need to use the distillery for this one. Uh, so let's come down here and again, we we'll put 15 in this one, 15 in this one, and lastly we'll put 15 in. Then we just have to wait really. See, we've got no reason that was been boiling for a long time. Let's reset that one. So there you go, these two have just started boiling. So um if we have got cauldron that as you can see hasn't been working out too well. Quite simply, grab a bucket, take the water out, put the water in, and that should be the best. There we go. Nothing's coming up in the chat. Whereas those two have just started boiling. Come back over here. There you go, these have now been boiling. That one's been boiling for two minutes. These ones are loading. So that is what the clock is for. It's very important to have the clock, so now we'll just wait. Right, here we go. I've just checked them in, and now they're saying they've been brewing now for three minutes, which if we come up here, Three minutes how long they usually cook for. So once they've been cooking, let's take that one out. We then get three bottles, so click one, two, three, and that's all the water out of that one. So one, two, three. And here we have it which come up as boiled because uh, they've not changed it. So next thing to do is add them to these. So go one, two, three, and you'll notice that on this arrow here, it should in a second start moving. There it goes. That will now start distilling these for me. So let's get those going. Now, the best thing about distilling is you can just leave these, they will not distill for too long, so you don't have to worry about them having like hundreds and hundreds of times distilled. These only need to be distilled six times, so once it hits six, that will be it done. Now let's go check on the wheat bit. That's been boiling for six minutes, we've got two more minutes on that one. A little bit longer on those. Now the only diff difference between the distillery and the ageing process is the ageing process, if you are on a multi-server, it will keep, it will keep ageing. Um, as long as the server is online. So every time a day passes, it will get a day older, and you'll end up unfortunately having 
slightly ruined potion. Let me find it. Like these. Where I've got one that's hundreds of years aged. Um, so it's very pe preferable you stay online for as long as you can while they are aging so you don't ruin them basically. How these things have a minute, we've got one more minute left. Let's run back over here to see how these are doing. Here we go, there we go. And one time's distilled so far. Um so far it's been perfectly brewed, which it will be. These are pretty much the strong drinks as you can see it's still going and that one is too. We will come back to that later once I have done these and hopefully they should be completed. Seven minutes, six minutes and six minutes. So if we go up here to double check it, it goes into a birch barrel for two Minecraft days or two years as I have written. Let's run back down, see how we're doing still. There we go, eight minutes, perfect. So this one is eight minutes, but these two are still seven minutes, so they have one more minute to go. Let's put them. one, two, three, get those out. These come out as fermented wheat. Run over to my large birch barrel and add these in. And then all we now have to do is nothing will happen for quite a little while. We'll just have to wait for it all to come up, but they will eventually turn into perfect barrels. And then we've just got to wait one more minute for these ones to finish. Run back over here. Check on these guys. There we go. Now it says two times distilled. So that should now keep going until we hit run back them in again. Oh. Let's just jump a little bit. Uh, yes, but if you look at these, I do prefer having these ones. I just find they do look a lot nicer. There we go, eight minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take those out. Run over here. Now, I promise you, I will do the show you what these look like. Once these are done, they will come out looking like these up the top here. As you can see, I left these in the barrels for a little bit too long. But as I that is how you do brewery. I hope this has helped. Don't forget to pop onto craftyourtown.com um, where we have got this brewery all set up for you to use the plugin. If you look up here, we have got plenty of brews to choose from and that isn't all of them because i have added more since doing this sign so come on over if you need any help on here just ask for sadbury and i'm more than happy to show you through anything else you need so thanks for watching bye